Hello, hello, everybody. Christopher Bill here, happy to report to a fan base now 3,000 strong. This week, as promised, I'll be answering your questions. First of all, for those of you who have not joined me over on Facebook, come on over. That's where I got the questions for this. It's where I do feedback. It's where I get song requests. It's where I do some giveaways. Sometimes I'll give away free arrangements and other free stuff and do contests. I'll put a link in the description and uh, join me over on the fan page. Second, this was not a question, but I'm sure it will be. Why do I have a dragon tattoo on my chest and have trombone on my knuckles? Because I felt like it. Now let's get right to it. I have a lot of questions um, on what I use to record and how I arrange the stuff and all that stuff. So let's just, I'm going to go through it all and settle all of those questions. First, I will sit down at the piano uh, with a song I want to arrange and I'll just listen to it. And I'll try to figure out uh, on the piano what the melody is, what the bass line is, what the chords and the form are. And then I'll sit down at the computer and I use uh, Finale software to write it into four or sometimes more parts. So I start practicing the parts. Um, for the bright commercial or jazz stuff, I'll use the King 2B. It's a vintage 1952 Liberty Series horn. Awesome horn. And for the dark classical or bass trombone stuff, I'll use the Bach 42G it's Stradivari Series. As for mouthpieces, on the King, I use a Bach 7C, and on the Bach, I use a Lasky 59D, and for the really low stuff, I use a Bach 1.5G. Next is my recording gear. I'll use a Shure SM57, or this, which is a Shure SM58 microphone. It goes into an M-Audio interface, which USB into my laptop. And once we get to the laptop, I'll use either uh, Avid Pro Tools software, uh, Ableton Live, or sometimes just freeware uh, Audacity. I also use Ableton Live to do the drum tracks and to do the live looping stations that I did with the uh, Coldplay and the Robin Thicke. As for video, I have a, let's see, it's a Canon Vixia HF R400 HD video camera. And I edit the video together with Adobe Premiere Pro or Adobe After Effects. I think that's everything. Okay, next is, who have you studied with and who is your favorite trombonist? Okay, well, uh, I'm currently finishing up. It's my last year at the Purchase Conservatory of Music in New York. And here I've studied with Weston Sprott and Paul Pollard of the Metropolitan Opera, uh, Graham Ashton, Rich Clymer, uh, Peter Wright. And on the jazz department, uh, I studied with John Fedchuk, John Faddis, uh, Todd Kuhlman, Dave DeJesus, Pete Mallon Bernie, uh, Hal Galper, but my primary teacher for the past couple years was Tim Albright. Okay, and my favorite trombonists. Well, in the classical world, you've got Joel Lassie and Christian Lindbergh. Uh, they're both monsters, and you're really not going to beat them. Uh, and Lindbergh is pretty showy, and I kind of dig that, actually. Um, in the jazz world, J.J. Johnson, Frank Rosalino. Nobody can really top that. What are you going to do at 9,000 subscribers? Uh, for those of you who don't know, I said at 9,000 subscribers, I would do a mystery, you know, something different. There are a few options right now, but what I would love to do is a duet with Paul the Trombonist. However, uh, the ball's definitely in his court for that one, so it's kind of up to him. Next, there's an entire page of song requests, some of which were really awesome, and I would love to get through all of them. Uh, the best way to get me to see them is to post them on the Facebook fan page. Again, link is in the description. A few things to think about. I don't really like doing stuff that's already been done by an instrumental ensemble or, you know, definitely not a quartet. Uh, there's the Texas one that did Carry On My Wayward Son. I would love to do something like that, but, I mean, they do such a good job with it. Um, and anything else that's already kind of out there, I'd like to go in a different direction. However, at 6,000 subscribers, I will do whatever you want me to do, and you can vote on uh, Facebook for that. So, it's up to you. I'll do whatever you want. Okay, and last, a bunch of you wanted to know my daily routine or wanted to see some tutorials on range or technique. Uh, instead of putting them all here, what I'll do is I'll make several separate videos, um, with each with a different topic. I'll do, you know, one specifically on range, one specifically on extended techniques, and uh, one specifically on my own personal warm-up. So, uh, when those are finished, you can find those in the description. Alright, that's all for this week. 
Thanks for all the questions. If you have more, you can post them on Facebook, and I'll get back to most of them. Uh, tune in next week for an all-new arrangement, and in a couple weeks for the 4,000 subscriber video, which is Video Game Symphony Number no. 2. Uh, if you haven't seen the first one, I'll post it right here, and also in the description. Thanks, everybody, and see you next time.